Well, guess what we cooking? Some mac creamy mac and cheese. And what else? Um, cream cheese stuff, blanco cheese, grill, oven, chicken breast. Ooh, that sounds sweet. Yes, that do. really does. We only use a lot of fresh ingredients. We don't get all that unnecessary Super. box stuff. Got we have fresh red bell pepper. Some Roma tomatoes. Shallots. Green onions. Green onions. What down there? And we have spinach. We have pancetta. It's very expensive. We have fresh spinach. Fresh portobello mushrooms. And we have, last but not least, Marcella wine for to make wine sauce, pastas, and everything. We got three bottles, and those are expensive. They're not. Yeah, we're gonna cook. Cheese! See, we're gonna cook our spinach down, and we're gonna put that in our ingredients. It don't take but maybe two, three minutes mm -hmm. to cook it down. Yeah. Man, that stuff's cheaper than buying it at a restaurant. Sure, it is. No, I'm not being cheap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we eat out a lot though, y'all. But I sure in hell ain't going to no goddamn McDonald's. No, we're not going to go there. Chico. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's sad. Y'all are really about to be 40 years old and you're around here walking like that. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> well, y'all, I'm going to teach y'all how to cook today. Y'all gonna cook this at y'all house, I know y'all. Well, it's good. Yeah. $37.93. Yeah, keep in mind, that's for three different meals. No, that's more than three meals. Yeah. That's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> We're gonna see you guys, I guess, when we get back. Yeah, when we get home. <laughs> yep, in a few minutes, we're gonna see you guys. We're just making it home. Here go my art piece, you guys, that I painted. It's on the wall. It's beautiful. I love my work. I'm very talented. We're just getting home from the store, from the grocery uh, and stuff. Oh! Hey, Mom. Look at her bad self. The bad. Don't play with her. Alright, we have chicken breast. I'm flipping it. I'm pre cooking it on five minutes on each side before I stuff it. And then run into in the oven, maybe probably 15 to 25 minutes or more if you keep checking it on 350 degrees of heat. Which, what, uh, what you filled it with? I'm filling it with cream cheese, meat. What is that? Meat. <laughs> that was bad. That's alright. It's going in the oven. Um, I'm filling it with cream cheese, fresh spinach, um, bell pepper, and blanco cheese. And I steamed it with a... And you got green onions too? Yeah, I just got green onions. And I steamed it with white Moringo wine with the chicken. They give it a little wine, white wine flavor. Now I'm about to take it out and put it over here. See, I preheated the inside. See, the inside not cooked. I'm going, it's going to cook the rest in the oven. Just preheating it on each side so what outside can be cooked. And this sauce, you can do whatever you want with this sauce, but I regular not because it's pre-cooked. Okay, we're about to stuff it while it's hot. Here, what's that? And I'm stuffing it with that fresh cream cheese, fresh spinach, fresh blanco cheese, and green onion and uh, green bell pepper. Now you can make your own seasoning out of everything in your cabinet, like your herbs and spices, like you want it. We have. I use mild stuff with a little spices. We have black and season. Like a black and season. That's our black and seasoning mix. So we're gonna go over here and put this in the oven on a 
350 degrees of Fahrenheit <laughs> on the top, not the bottom. And you want to check it like every three to four minutes, three to four to five minutes. And this, you can actually use this, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to use it for later to pour over my chicken. All right, I'm Brian, and I'm cooking mac and cheese. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to put pasta, get your uh, pot over the stove, get it heated up, throw some butter in there, and then you see this butter, how uh, it's starting to bubble up. You're going to want to go ahead and take your shallots. It's like a mild onion. Put your shallots in there. You're going to want to sweat those onions. At this point, we can go ahead and add our pancetta. You get about five pieces of pancetta to our pack right here. So I guess you could kind of say it's about a dollar right there. You know, sort of pancetta. And where can you pick that up at? It's a local store or any yeah, store? Any local store. Just go where uh, the deli's at. You're not going to find it with a bacon side. Y'all can either go to Winn-Dixie or one of your local Italian stores or close store nearby and ask do they sell those things. Because we are actually, we are in New Orleans. Not the city part, but we're on the outskirts. We live in Chalmette, Louisiana. So every state or every place is different that sells certain things and other stores don't. So y'all might want to look more into that. <clears throat> We're going to add some green onions and there's just a little bit of red bell pepper. Leftovers from another dish and I don't waste. So I'm going to use that. Since this is a creamy mac and cheese, we got some heavy whipping cream flavor. You're going to add some heavy whipping cream to your pan. And then you have our pasta cooking. Don't add no olive oil to it. Add salt. Just add some salt, probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. That's going to make everything bond to your pasta when you add it to your sauce. And what kind of pasta or uh, noodles are there? Oh, uh, forgot I believe. You could use any kind of pasta you wish. You're going to want to take, you want to cook down your heavy whipping cream. And it's probably going to take you a good five minutes. So now we have queso. Queso blank Ain't that what it is? Mm -hmm. Cheese. Y'all can get this right next to the velvet. And it's always next to the velvet. So we're going to add this in here, and this melts really well. And then right after this, we're going to go ahead and add some hoop cheese. Now that's a little bit more of a mac and cheese type of dish. But you got to have some creaminess. Now, there's our hoop cheese. Y'all can get this from the deli department. Alright, now that we got our hoop cheese in here, and our queso blanco, some white cheese. Now we're going to mix this up. I did stick a little bit of scallions in here, or green onions. As y'all can see, it's looking a little like cream mac and cheese. No flour substitution, as some of these restaurants do. Now you're going to grab your pasta. You want to drain this pasta. Alright, now we're going to add our pasta, and make sure you turn this on low heat, just simmer it. You don't want to burn that cheese at the bottom of that pasta. And then, work your sauce into your pasta. Oh, I smell that chicken too. That cream cheese stuff, breast, oh god, I'm so ready to eat and it's raining outside. This is the best time to do this. Like I said, get your access water off. Just 
work it all in there. Now, y'all can see how many people this probably feeds, right? I know some of y'all out there saying, man, I could eat that whole thing myself, but hey, don't be greedy. Sharon is care. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably enough for a whole family. Depends on the big serving size of how much they're going to eat. Yeah, it depends on what you want to eat. And if it's only one of you and you you saying you can eat all this, well, hey. Have Good luck to you. <laughs> have at it. It ain't going to be me with my stomach hurt. And the cheese he used, you guys. He used this cheese. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's called... Hoop cheese. It's called red hoop cheddar cheese. And look at the price, six oh five at Winn Dixie. I don't know what it might cost at another store, but it's cheap at Winn Dixie. If y'all around a local Winn Dixie, it's best to get it there. And if y'all see how much we use, just a little bit. And for people that don't, that don't feel like using all the natural ingredients in the pasta sauce we made from scratch, you can also buy the jaw kind. Depending on how you feeling at a certain day, if you don't want to feel like doing all of this, you can just go to shorter route and just use the jaw cheese. But to each its own, depends on how you're feeling and if you feel like standing up here for those, basically for them little hours of time and patience. <laughs> if you don't have the patience, just go the other route. But at the end, y'all will love the homemade from scratch kind. It's really good. Yeah. And it depends on the size of your family or or your relatives that's living with you or you know what I'm saying? Or your kids and everybody. Depends on how quick you wanna fix it. You can go the route of using it out the jar. But it would be cheaper if you buy the stuff from scratch. You can make more, you can make it for two or three days, the most and the least. Don't and it'll stretch a whole lot. Don't forget to put a little touch of salt. You think they're gonna look at Velveeta? They ain't gonna want no Velveeta once they taste this. <laughs> and it's cheaper than Velveeta. <laughs> a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> and a lot healthier. Now this is the finished touch of the meat of the chicken cream stuffed chicken breast, spinach, and bell pepper. And it's so beautiful you can want to go See? Ain't that so pretty? Restaurant style. And it was an easy, simple 15 to 25 minute dish. Plus the prepping time. So that'll be like maybe about 45 to 55 minutes. Right? Okay. About that. Yeah. So it's dinner is ready to be served. Y'all gonna see the end result of the plate. Thank you. I'm Brenda, by the way. Oh and my it's god. The finished touch that we both did. My chicken breast, cream cheese, stuffed fresh spinach and herbs in the oven and his fresh homemade from fresh pasta and what I call this pasta is I call it the what would you call it? cream cream based mac, mac and cheese cream based mac and cheese <laughs> we saw you guys we were kind of didn't know what we wanted to name it but it, we know the name it at least we didn't use flour so we didn't take shortcuts so this is the finished touch of it, y'all. It's pretty. So we'll be opening a restaurant 2016. It'll be called Margarita and Cuisine. So that means you're going to taste a little bit of Caribbean, Asian, everything. Everything you can pray the name of. We're going to keep it simple. But thanks, you guys. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. I'm ready to eat. Cheese.